Hi everyone, Storm Teammate Meteorologist Kevin Arnone. Hope you're all having a great Friday so far. Sorry about the rain. We're having another rainy day here across the state. That's why you should download this the WTNH app. It's a free download for your Android and Apple devices. We're going to go through the app. We'll show you some great features that it has, and we'll walk through it together. So if you don't have it already, just go right to your app store on your home screen and just and just go to WTNH, and it's going to pop up, WTNH News 8. I already have it downloaded, but for you guys, if you don't have it downloaded, it will say download. Just hit open if you already have it, and boom, here we are. Right to the app. So it's a free download, again, and free free ads, too. Why not? We'll just hit done there. Um, again, free free to use, free to download, and we'll go through a couple of the features it has. So right on the home screen, you can see this is some of our articles. So today, obviously, weather is on top of people's minds. So if you click right here, it'll go right to our today forecast, and it'll give you a video of what's going on for the forecast today and a rundown of the forecast for the next couple of days. And it'll even bring you right to the eight-day forecast, which shows all the way out through next Friday. And then from there, you can even click some of the top stories that's going on across the state. So that's the weather portion of it. Also, every day when the meteorologist gets here, we actually update hourly of what's going on for the day today. So if you come down and scroll down a little bit, you come to the weather tab here, you actually have the current conditions across the state. Now this actually knows where you are. So say you're in Torrington, say you're in Hartford, or wherever you may be, it'll actually know where you are, what your dew point is, what your humidity is, current conditions, all that fun stuff. And then again, you can get right to our today forecast and our videos as well with the hourly forecast that gives you a breakdown of what the temperatures are going to be this afternoon and a breakdown of exactly what the temperatures are going to be over the next couple of days. And my favorite feature, of course, i going to give Vanessa a shout out back there, of course, do working with the camera over there, is the radar. So no, no matter where you are in Connecticut, we have an interactive radar as well. So you can see that heavy rain that you probably had this morning is now off to our north and to our east. But if we zoom in right here to New Haven, then you can see it is dry right now. So if you are heading out the door, conditions aren't getting better. What else should we talk about here? How about we talk about a little bit of traffic? So... Everyone's going to be traveling this weekend, obviously, for Memorial Day. We can actually give you some live traffic maps of what's going on across Connecticut. Let it load up. Current condition, you hit OK. So here's an interactive traffic map. It'll show you all our fine roads here across Connecticut. Oh. Uh, and we can see here, there's some traffic right now, 95, looks like 95 south going into Bridgeport. There was an accident earlier today. Tractor trailer flipped over, so that is why there's traffic down there. So... And there's also cameras as well. If you click here, you can actually see some live cameras across the state. So when you are going out to travel this weekend and uh, you want to get a break on, you know, what's going on with the roads, you can click here and see those uh, live traffic cameras as well. Also, news stories on the go. Say you're not in front of your TV, you're at work, and you want to look to see what's going on in the news, you could, of course, click the homepage here. And here are all of our top stories. There's some videos there, and we can scroll down and go through. So Hammonasset uh, getting ready to delay their opening. But, of course, a Memorial Day weekend, everyone's going to be wanting to go to the beach. And you could scroll all these stories. You click one of them. Let's click a – how about we click a good story here? Uh, let's go – there you go, Jim Morrison. So you can get the video and exactly what's going on with the story as well. Another thing you can do – is you can get breaking news alerts to your county. So say you live in New Haven County, you're not interested in what's going on in Torrington County, you can actually click that off and just click stories that are related to where you live. To do that, come up here to the alerts, and then you can go right down and click exactly where you live, what story you want to be alerted on, and uh, if you've already read it as well, so you come here to more as well, and you can go to... Oh, you can even get sports on here too. Look at that. You can get everything. This is just the greatest all-around app you could possibly have. Uh, but here, New Haven County, Hartford County, Fairfield County News, Middlesex, New London, Litchfield, Tallinn, and Wyndham. And there's even some national stories as well. Another great thing, if you're not in front of a TV, say you're, I don't know, where are you? Maybe you're at a restaurant and you want to watch live stream us. Whenever we are on, you can actually watch live. You click this middle button, and it'll actually bring you the schedule of when we're on TV. So we're coming up for News 8 at noon, at noon, obviously, in about an hour and 20 minutes. So if you're not in front of your TV at home, you can uh, watch us live here. We'll give you the latest forecast for the weekend. 
So that's simple to do right there. And of course, our favorite feature is the report it feature. We want to see all your pictures and videos of your kids and of your pets or whatever you're doing this weekend. Looks like the app, oh, you know why it froze on me? Because we're going into, hold on, let me reopen it. One second, bear with me. Um, we want to see what's going on. Hold on one second. Any questions on the uh, on there, Vanessa? No, we're just getting some shout outs. Um, a couple of people missed the name of the app. The app is oh. the WTNH app. Um, it's free to download and free to use mm -hmm. from the Apple App Store. Um, as well as Google Play, so you could get that. And awesome. Kevin is walking us through the app yes. right now. So the last feature I want to talk to you guys about, of course, is the report it uh, feature that we have. So if you click right here to report it, you could actually send with, with your name, your email, or if you have any information of a story as well, you could put that into the comment section. And then you could add a photo, simple to do, and you could even call us. And then you can send that picture, picture or that video right to us, and it will be featured on our TV. Uh, Brian Spiros does a report recap every week. So whatever you're doing this weekend to celebrate Memorial Day, you could send us over uh, some pictures of your barbecue or of your pets with, uh, I don't know, wearing an American flag, whatever they may be doing this weekend. So that would be, uh, and even, you know, when weather happens as well, we want to see those rainbow pictures. I know it's not going to be snowing anytime soon, but we'd love to see those snow pictures as well. And, uh, and anything else is going on. So is there any other questions or comments? Anything you want me to, to show you else on the app? Anyone have any last questions for Kevin? You guys ready for News 8 at noon? I want to bring you guys some nice weather. That's what I want. I, finally, some sunshine tomorrow. That's the good news. So anyone that has any picnics going on tomorrow or even on Sunday, weather's looking much better. I could actually... Well, well, how about we show you the radar yeah. in here? Show huh? us the radar. Show us uh, what we could expect from the weather today and tomorrow. So here's the radar now. Um, tough, probably tough for you guys to see at home, but you can kind of see the border of Connecticut. Here's that rain from earlier today. That's moving this way. So we're going to be in the clear. That being said, there will be a few passing showers this afternoon, but nothing as widespread as what we saw earlier today. And even if we scroll down here to the uh, hourly forecast, the hourly forecast here, you can see as we go through the afternoon, we're going to go with mostly cloudy skies, but the chance for precipitation is much less. So that's the good news. And look at these temperatures. We'll get into the upper 60s. Not too bad. So a little bit cooler than where we should be for this time of year, but we'll take it. Tomorrow we're going to be in the 70s, though. Of course, you can see that right here. Saturday, it's temperature 74 degrees. Not too bad at all. We'll take it. All right. Well, all thank right. you, Kevin. Of course. Thank you all for right. stopping we'll by. All right. Bye-bye.